the doctor was feeling lonely. Most of the time, she could suppress those feelings and distract herself by saving a planet, averting a war, or emergency deep freezing crinoid hatchlings. But not today. Today was different. Today, she sat on the steps of the TARDIS console room, munching her last custard cream, watching the glowing control crystal rise and fall. While her space time machine was in Archon 2 recharge mode, the Doctor couldn't allow anyone else on board, especially humans. The Archon forces played havoc with their DNA. She guiltily remembered that time with David Bowie, when his left pupil permanently dilated. <sighs> hmm. You have one unread message. What message? Since when did you start taking messages? Oh, well, aren't you chatty? Where were you last September when I ran out of monologues? <sighs> Fine. Hello, Susan. I've built a message bank and retrieval system into the TARDIS data core for a rainy day in case you need cheering up. I know what you're like when you get bored or lonely. What am I like? Grumpy. Mm. I know that nothing lasts forever and that eventually we'll have to say goodbye. But when that day comes, I want to leave you with some memories of our time together. Not just of me, but of future friends, future times and places. I've activated the TARDIS recording mode, telepathically linked to your data extract, so if you're ever feeling bored or lonely or sad, all you have to do is access the data bank and retrieve a favorite memory. It'll keep on recording until you tell it to stop. All your adventures, all your stories won't go to waste. It'll always be here, waiting for you like an archive. Alive for eternity. Some of the early ones might have gaps. Sorry about that. You know what the TARDIS is like with integrating new systems. Anyway, I'd better go or I'll be late for school. I hope this message gets to you someday. When you need it most. With a final smile, Susan's image flickered, then evaporated. The doctor stared at the empty space for a very long time, seconds at least. Then she snapped into action, scrolling through the endless list of titles, unsure where to begin. Oh Susan, where do I start? Her finger hovered over the activation button. Finally, she made her selection and pressed play. It all started out as a mild curiosity in the junkyard. And now it's turned out to be quite a, a quite a great spirit of adventure, don't you think? And I have the right to decide what I look like. I am he, and he is me. And we are all together, Goo Goo Kichu? If someone who knew the future pointed out a child to you and told you that that child would grow up totally evil, to be a ruthless dictator who would destroy millions of lives, could you then kill that child? That's the trouble with regeneration. You never quite know what you're going to get. Oh, We're too nice. Physician, heal thyself. And I can feel it. We're falling through space, you and me. Clinging to the skin of this tiny little world, and if we let go... For a long time now, I thought I was just a survivor, but I'm not. That's who I am. I'm the winner. The Time Lord Victorious. Hello, Stonehenge! Do you think I care for you so little that betraying me would make a difference? We are all capable of the most incredible change. We can evolve while still staying true to who we are. We can honor who we've been and choose who we want to be next. Tim? Sarah Jane? Oh, so you're my replacements. A dandy and a clown. Make the foundation of this society! A man who never would! I carry them with me. What they would have thought and said and done. You act like such a lonely man. But look at you. You've got the biggest family on earth. He has saved your lives so many times and you never even knew he was there. 
He never stops. He never stays. He never asks to be thanked. Don't forget me. Oh, Sarah. Don't you forget me. Very old and very kind and the very, very last. Nobody. No one has anything to say to me today! When you love the Doctor, it's like loving the stars themselves. You don't expect a sunset to admire you back. Sometimes, on a good day, if I try very hard, I'm not some old time lord who ran away. I'm the Doctor. One day, I shall come back. Yes, I shall come back. Until then, there must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. Just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. Thank you, Susan.